Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Next Sunday, January 7th, 2018. Feels so good to say 18. Golden Globe 75th. Wow. The 75th one. My goodness. It comes on next Sunday, and I'm here for it. These are my predictions. Who will win? What shows were awesome? And who will get robbed? I want to talk about TV before we talk about movies. Okay, best television series drama. We have The Crown, Game of Thrones, The Handmaid's Tale, Stranger Things, This Is Us. I'm going to say Game of Thrones. Best television series comedy. Uh, we have Blackish, The Marvelous Mrs. Mazel, uh, Master of None, Smilf, Will and Grace. I would love to say Smilf because I review Smilf. However, it's its first go, and I don't know if they will win on their first season. Um, Will and Grace with the reboot. Hmm. Marvelous on Amazon, from what I understand, I, I watched half of one episode and it was really good. Um, but Blackish, Blackish has been killing it and everybody loves Tracy Ellis Ross, so I'm going to go with Blackish. Best performance by an actress in a television series drama. Ooh, who's going to win? Outlander, The Crown, The Deuce, 13 Reasons Why, The Handmaid's Tale. And when I, I'm just saying the show first, I'm going to go with Maggie. I'm going to go with Maggie G for the deuce. She destroyed that role playing that prostitute. And I think she's got that one, man. I just think she's got it. Best performance by an actor in a television series, musical, or comedy. We got Anthony Anderson for Blackish. Aziz from Master of None, which everybody likes. Both of those guys. Kevin Bacon, he's a legend for I Love Dick. William H. Macy, Shameless. And Eric for Will and Grace. I'm going to go with William H. because he deserves it. I'm going to go with William H. Macy as Frank Gallagher and Shameless. He deserves it. Anthony Anderson might be, it'll be close between the two of them. Okay. Best television limited series or motion picture made for television. We have Big Little Lies, Fargo, Feud, Center, Top of the Lake, China Girl. Here's the thing. Mm, I really like all of these shows. Three of the five, a hundred percent were phenomenal. Fargo was excellent. Feud, Feud though, Feud, I would have to say was probably best shows I watched of 2017. Legendary, legendary, Susan Sarandon and oh my goodness. Now the center was beautiful. Fargo was excellent too. I'm going to go with Feud. I think Feud deserves it. Performance by an actor in a limited series or motion picture made for television. Robert De Niro, Jude Law, Kyle, ew, Fargo. I hate it when it's such a good, you know what? I know who's going to win. It's going to be Fargo for our guy because he had, a, he played two characters. He played a dual role and that is what separates him from the other actors in that category. So I'm going to go with Mr. McGregor. He's going to get it. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role in a series, limited series or motion picture made for television. We have someone from Stranger Things, Feud, Mr. Robot, Big Little Lies and Fargo. Oh, man. I would have to say it's either going to be David Harbour from Stranger Things or it's going to be David for Fargo. He played a heck of a villain. I'm going to go with either that This Is Us, Chrissy Metz, or Anne from Handmaid's Tale. This is very tough. Jessica Peel was outstanding in the center, man, as a uh, Cora. I find it interesting that Susan and Jessica go against each other like they did in the Dangon TV series. I mean, they're battling each other. Huh. Best performance by an actress in a television series, musical, or comedy. You have Pamela from Better Things, Allison from Glow, which she did very well, uh, Rachel from The Marvelous, uh, Mrs. Maisel, Issa Rae from Insecure, Frankie Shaw as Smilf. Issa Rae. Issa Rae. Why? Because I want her to win. Because she deserves to win. Because she has had two seasons of excellence on HBO. Because she's hilarious. Because she tells the truth. Because she's a natural girl. Because she should win. That's why. Moving forward. Sure for a comedy or whatever, it definitely girls trip deserve to be in that category they slayed this summer the numbers were off the chain there was no way you didn't laugh and enjoy the script tiffany haddish deserved to get some sort of nom come on y'all they were robbed so let's go dunkirk or the missouri film is gonna just take 
the, the Missouri film because I've heard nothing but good things about it. Best Picture, Comedy or Musical, Disaster Act, Get Out, The Greatest Showman, I, Tanya, Lady Bird. Let me tell you, when I say I, Tanya was the perfect film, I, Tanya was hilarious, I, Tanya was informative, I, Tanya was real, and it, they could have went cheesy and went Lifetime with it, but... Uh, not no disrespect to Lifetime. I'm just saying sometimes in movies when it has to do with a biography or whatever, they it it's just not hitting hard as we would like to see. Um, but I would love for Beck's picture comedy to go to I Tanya. Now will they pull a, a stoop will they pull one and go Lady Bird? They might. Or they could just go the greatest showman and, you know, whatever. I'm I i want to see Lady I wanna see I Tanya win. <sighs> Best perform best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. Denzel. Denzel Washington. Best performance by an actress in a motion picture drama. Meryl Streep in a category. I think she should automatically win. I feel sorry for the other chicks. Oh no. If they were to beat Meryl Streep in that category, I want to see the camera hit everybody's face very slowly performance by an actor in a motion picture musical or a comedy I'm gonna go with Hugh Jackman for the greatest showman Hugh Jackman for the greatest showman I mean this is completely different from what we know him to be Wolverine hot daddy Wolverine um I think he's got this one in the bag Best performance by an actress in a motion picture musical or comedy uh I Margot Ravi for I Tanya Best performance by an actor supporting role in a motion picture I'm gonna go with Sam Rockwell. Uh, best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a motion picture. We have Mary J from Mudbound, Allison and, and I, Tanya. Ah, man, dang it. Mary J got the nom. Good for Mary J. Mary J blush. Must have been crazy to think that I didn't love me. Man. I'm gonna have to go with I, Tanya. Mary was wonderful. She was. Mary J was outstanding in Mudbound. Don't get me wrong, but I, Tanya, come on. Best animated film, I would say. It's going to be a tie. It's going to be between Coco and Ferdinand. I, ah, okay, okay. You're rushing me. You're rushing me. Mm, Ferdinand's going to win. Um, best director, Spielberg. Is, Spielberg probably is going to win for The Post. Best screenplay motion picture. I would say Molly's Game might get it. Best original score for a motion picture. The Post. Best original song for a motion picture. This is this is me, the showman. Best motion picture foreign language. Maybe Loveless. Love those are those are my predictions for who will win. See how it goes. I have to count how many categories I got right. I'll add. After the show airs, I'll add, I'll pin, a, I'll pin a comment as to how many of those I got right. You guys let me know what you're looking forward to seeing in the Golden Globes or if you're going to watch or if you're not going to watch. I just wish other shows got the love that they deserved. Anywho, it just doesn't work how we want it all the time, right? Even how the people out there who are actual actor, actors and actresses directors and whatever they obviously it doesn't work how some of them will want either peace